Are you ready? We got a caller from Pennsylvania. Tahir couldn't join us live, but made this recording. Hey, Leo and uh, Jason. Thank you for taking my call. This is uh, Tahir from uh, Malvern, Pennsylvania. Uh, I had a question regarding my uh, 2010, uh, it's a mid-2010 uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, it's been running really slow. I know it's six years old, but it's been running really slow. And uh, for example, if I play a song, uh, the song gets stuck for a couple of seconds in between. So my uh, guess was it's a hard disk that is uh, uh, the issue. So I was wondering, uh, is there a way to figure out what the issue is, uh, if it is with the hard drive? And if it is the hard drive, is there a way I can replace that? It's a spinning hard drive. If I can, if I can replace that with the SSD. Well, first, thank you for taking my question. Thank you to hear. Is his hypothesis right? I love it when the questioners answer their own questions yeah. inside the question. It is almost certainly the hard drive. Really? I just did this with a 2008 MacBook Pro, and I did it with a uh, 2014 Mac, no, 2012 Mac Mini. Um, the hard drive, the spinning hard drive, is it's the first thing. To it's go. the first thing. I mean, there's there's RAM. You, you know, sometimes you can have not enough RAM, and that can make your computer slow. Mm -hmm. But the spinning hard drive is the thing that's making your old computer slow. Yeah. And an SSD can give it a shot in the arm. Both of those devices, the old MacBook Pro and the old Mac Mini that I put a, uh, I put a solid state drive in. I removed the old spinning drive, replaced it with a solid state drive. And they're, they're not like new, like something I would buy today, but for a lot less money, they're usable again. Like shockingly usable again. You know, I, I, I think this, we're gonna do an SSD segment with Alan Malventano. And I think on this one, which was pre-recorded, I did ask him, well, are you, do you have to say, is it a really old machine? Is the bus not fast enough? He said it doesn't matter because it's so much faster, even if it's yeah. saturating the bus. At least it's saturating the bus. Your old hard drive wasn't. So yeah, your computer is waiting for the hard it's drive. It's waiting most of the time. Most of the time yeah. and so on. Yeah. So And we talk about Mac compatibility. That 2008 MacBook Pro that I upgraded can run El Capitan. Because right. Apple hasn't dropped its uh, right. its software requirements in a very long time, so I installed that SSD, uh, and there are great instructions on it. Like I use the iFixit instructions to do it. Getting into a laptop is actually a lot easier than getting into something like a Mac Mini too. So for Tahir, I think that it's going to be a a pretty uh, straightforward upgrade to get uh, in the bottom of his MacBook Pro, and uh, and pull it open and pop in an SSD to replace the. Uh, to replace the spinning drive that's in there now, and it'll feel like a brand new system. We actually really did it to this MacBook Pro, this 2012 MacBook Pro. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, screws. There's These screws. are the the weird to torque screws, right? The pentalobe screws. Yeah, and you can get online. You can get a toolkit if you don't. I have fix these it tools. has one. I fix it has yeah. it. Uh, OWC has one. They're out there. Actually, you know what I did is I went to OWC, which is MacSales.com. MacSales.com, right? And um, I, there are other people that sell these, but I always buy the upgrade stuff from them because they're focused on Macs, so you can tell them which model you have exactly. Yeah, and you can pick your model, and it will say, this is the drive you should get, and then they've got instructions of their own, plus you could use the iFixit instructions if you want. They'll give you a toolkit. It you comes know. with the screwdriver you need. Yeah. So I didn't have to do anything. I mean, it's a disposable. It's not the best screwdriver you ever sure. got in the world, but it's enough. It yeah. comes with everything you need. Yeah, and iFixit's toolkit is great, too. I mean, there, there are a bunch of great options out here, but yeah. you, they make it, they're designing it to make it easy for you to do the upgrade because they want you to buy the hard drive. Right. And they'll, they'll, they're, they'll get, make sure you've got the tools to do the job and the instructions to do the job. And it, it really helps. It is, a, it is a major improvement. Don't be intimidated, in no. other words. It's not, if you're going to upgrade a Mac to Mini, that's a little bit, bit intimidating. You kind of have to disassemble well, need, it. But these yeah. laptops, the they're way actually that they're designed, they're, they're flat. You just pop yeah. off the bottom, and all the components are visible. It's very easy to do, and uh, it, will, it will really make the computer much better. Do you think it's possible that's one of the reasons I'm having trouble getting Chrome on here is because it has an aftermarket? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hard drive? I don't think so. I don't think there are any disadvantages. I even did, in fact, we have a couple of know-hows because we've done. I did this on uh, episode... 10 of know-how i think it was this laptop one of the ways you could do it there you go one of the ways uh you can uh do it i think it is that laptop is replace if you have an old old one that has a cd rom drive yeah you can actually take your old drive and put it in the cd rom drive and have two hard drives you on can. there and nowadays with cd roms you don't really you don't really need a uh a cd rom that much anymore so i think this is a this is a good uh Good upgrade. Everybody should do it. Yeah, it really does make those old laptops. If you if you have that old laptop and you're afraid to give it to a friend, 
because right. it's just too lousy. <laughs> Put an SSD in it, and then it will be a perfectly suitable laptop for them. This is also something people do more of now because, frankly, um, the processors of four years ago are fine. They really are. The video cards of four years ago are fine. We're now at the stage of computing where the, where the stuff you bought four or five years ago seems old, but it isn't. It's just as good. If you replace the one part that wears out, the spinning part, with an SSD, you can really get another four or yeah. five years out of that. Really, thing. making sure that the RAM is maybe maxed out. If Max you out can, the RAM is a big one, too. And yeah. put an SSD in there, yeah. and that computer, you will be surprised at how useful that computer is. The fact that Apple can continue to make old Macs compatible with their latest version of their operating system shows you how capable those systems really are. They can run the latest. They just need Isn't that amazing? a faster hard yeah. drive and maybe uh, make sure you've got all the RAM you can get. And this is in direct contrast to your smartphone and your tablet, which really have no user serviceable parts inside. Yeah. A, a, an old iPad, even just a few years old iPad. There's nothing you can do. You're just stuck. So that's one of the reasons I, I, I Apple still makes it easy for you to do this upgrade. So I'm glad about that. Yeah.